Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be making a fun and kind of rustic ombre style cake decorated with amethyst looking gemstones. You might recognize this cake from my logo. I created this for two friends of mine who got married and they decided they liked this style of cake. So I've taken my six inch that is sitting on a six inch cake board and I've first of all piped a rim around the outside of every cake layer. In the middle I filled in with some mixed berry compote that's been also mixed with buttercream and the reason why we need that dam is because the frosting in the middle, the filling, is actually really soft and so it can spill out the sides and you'll get little pink um, spots on your final layer of frosting. So it's much easier to do it this way, that way it doesn't come out and your final layer of frosting remains nice and clean. I am creating a crumb coat and the recipe for this particular buttercream can be found in the description box for you guys and in the eye icon as well. Clear up the sides and then pull that lip of frosting towards the center. Refrigerate your cake for 20 minutes or so, just enough to let it firm up. And in the meantime, you can fill in your 10 inch base tier. You can see there just how soft it is. So definitely do not want to skip the little dam piping. Follow the same steps and then create that final layer of frosting. So nice heavy amount at the very top, push it up and over the edges, flatten it out and then create a nice thick barrier on the sides as well. Because it's a rustic looking cake, you can actually just go straight on as it is. Or if you wanted to, you could pull that frosting back a little bit, kneading it up and then take a spatula. Let the very bottom of the spatula come in contact with the cake and swipe it up diagonally. Once you finish the first row, work directly above that and then directly above that and just repeating. Be gentle with the very top of the cake. You don't want it to sort of start caving inwards. You want to have a lip of frosting still remaining so that we can pull it back and create a nice sharp top edge. I'm going to let this cake set in the fridge again for 20 minutes and then repeat with my 6 inch. If you're enjoying these tutorials, you're welcome to subscribe. We do upload a new cake decorating video every week. Starting again at the base and then working my way up to the top. Being super gentle, you might end up getting smaller swipes in, but at least you'll end up with a nice sharp top edge that's not messy. Before airbrushing, I do like to let these rest in the fridge for 20 minutes. That way they're nice and solid. Um, and if you do end up touching them, it's all good. I've got my airbrush going and I'm working about 20 centimeters away from the cake. I've got it on a medium pressure and I'm just going all around the base, working my way up very slowly and gently to the middle. But I am mostly concentrating that color around the base. That way it's darker there and it kind of grades out to a light purple by the middle. For the bottom tier, because we have a, a white cake board, it, we don't want it to get purple and stained. So I'm placing some masking tape at the base and then following the same steps. I'm working my airbrush left to right while I turn my turntable as steady as I can. And again, the closer you get, the darker the color will be. The further away you are, the lighter it will be and the more you have to layer on that color to achieve a darker sort of shade. I hope that all makes sense. It's actually really, really easy to do. Highly recommend grabbing a, um, an airbrush. It's so much fun. Take away that masking tape and then apply your dowels. I've got bubble tea straws and I've added five of them. One in the very middle and then another four in a square sort of formation around the center. Cut them flush with the top of the cake and then take your six inch release it from that temporary board and then stick it all together with some buttercream. You might find it a bit easier if you place your six inch in the freezer for about 20 minutes. That way you can handle it with your hands and it won't dent. These are actually gemstone sprinkles that I found in amethyst um, purple. Really, really handy to have these. If you can't find them though, you can take uh, ice malt, color it purple, 
And then when it sets solid again, you can crush it up into tiny little crystals and then dust them over with some um, pearlescent luster dust. That'll give you a very similar effect to this as well. And that's it. That is how you make a really fun ombre cake. Same as the logo photo that I've got. Just a revamped version with amethyst sprinkles. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and give it a go. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can see your awesome creations as well. And this is the actual finished um, product. They did end up adding some flowers onto this, which really dressed it up nicely and completed it. But I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So do send them through if you feel like sharing. Thanks so much again for watching. We'll catch you again in the next one.